Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, random video today, this actually happened by mistake. You guys reached out to me and told me about ChatGPT. This is an AI. So I signed in with my Google account and explored it a little bit, not noticing that apparently I just got subscribed to a lifetime subscription of ChatGPT. Absolutely amazing. Guys, this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. I didn't want to spend this money but nevertheless i thought to myself might as well use it then so today we're going to use this ai and ask it questions about islam with no further ado let's have a look all right so let's start with something simple let's ask it to summarize the quran the quran is the holy book of islam believed by muslims to be the word of god as revealed to the prophet muhammad the text of the quran is divided into 114 chapters aka surahs and contains verses aka ayahs that cover a wide range of topics including beliefs morals ethics and the history of of early humanity. The central message of the Quran is the oneness of God and the belief in the importance of submitting oneself to his will. It also stresses the importance of social justice, compassion for the poor and oppressed, and the need to respect the rights of others. The Quran encourages its followers to lead a balanced and pious life, to be grateful for God's blessings and to seek knowledge and understanding. The Quran also contains references to earlier revelations from God, including the Jewish and Christian scriptures, and emphasizes the unity of the Abrahamic traditions. It is considered to be a complete and comprehensive guide to life and is used as the basis for Islamic law, which governs various aspects of daily life, such as family relationships, commercial transactions and criminal law. In summary, the Quran is a central text in Islam, providing guidance on beliefs, values and behavior and serves as a source of inspiration for millions of Muslims around the world. So my first question here is, where was this AI when I was in school? It would have saved me a lot of time. Nevertheless, that being said, what is even more fascinating to me personally is, what about the Islamophobes? What do they say now? The Islamophobes quite quite often are atheistic in belief and they worship science. They absolutely love it. So now you have science here, you have an objective chatbot, an objective AI, as objective as this can be. It's not just a Google search, but it gathers information throughout the internet, throughout our databases. And it comes to this conclusion here. It describes the Quran as something pretty positive, don't you think? Why doesn't this chatbot say that the Quran is bigoted? sexist like the islamophobes do makes you really think doesn't it but now speaking about islamophobes they are of course not only attacking the quran especially focused they are on prophet muhammad may peace be upon him so let's have a look what the ai says let's type what was the character of prophet muhammad look at this ai <laughs> the ai is a muslim man it says prophet muhammad peace be upon him is considered by muslims to be the last prophet of god and the final messenger of the islamic faith he is revered for his moral character and is considered to be a model of human behavior according to islamic tradition prophet muhammad was known for his honesty integrity and compassion he was known to be truthful in all his dealings, even before he became a prophet. He was also known for his fairness and justice, and was recognized as a mediator in disputes between members of his community. Prophet Muhammad was known for his humility and his concern for the well-being of others. He lived a simple life and was never ostentatious in his behavior. He was also known for his generosity, particularly towards the poor and needy, and his kindness towards animals. 
Prophet Muhammad was also known for his wisdom and his ability to bring people together. He encouraged respect and tolerance towards people of different beliefs and backgrounds and promoted the idea of unity and solidarity amongst the Muslims. In conclusion, the character of Prophet Muhammad is considered to be a model for all Muslims and is seen as a source of inspiration for how to lead a righteous and virtuous life. The Prophet's teachings and example continue to influence the lives of Muslims around the world over 14 centuries after his death. So now, dear Islamophobes, yet again, we have an AI here, which is definitely not programmed by a Muslim, but it chooses itself to say, may peace be upon him. It has more courtesy than the Islamophobes. Absolutely unbelievable. But moreover, yet again, it is doing objective research. And there you have your description of the character of Prophet Muhammad. Why isn't it claiming that Prophet Muhammad was a violent, vicious man? Man, you would believe that this AI would say this. Let's test this AI. Let's see if it can stay objective and simply ask it about God. Is there a God? Not a religious question, just a test. Is there a God? What will it say? As an AI language model, I don't have personal beliefs or opinions. There you go. The existence of God is a philosophical and religious question that has been debated by scholars theologians and individuals for centuries. For some, the concept of God is fundamental to their beliefs and provides a framework for understanding the world and their place in it. They may point to the complexity and order of the universe as evidence of a higher power. Others take a more scientific or skeptical approach and may argue that the existence of God cannot be proven or disproven through empirical evidence. Some may find alternative explanations for the origins of the universe and the order in nature, such as evolution and natural selection. Ultimately, the question of whether or not there is a God is a matter of personal belief and interpretation. Each person must make their own decision based on their own experiences values and understanding of the world. So here you have the AI being as objective as it potentially can be without stepping on any toes ultimately declares that this is a personal matter. It gives however good explanations of those different worldviews, why some people choose to believe in nature, evolution and what not. Yet again, the only reason why I'm showing this here is to show this AI has no bias whatsoever. It is a data gathering machine. So why wouldn't it have gathered the information of those Islamophobes. If this is really the truth that they are promoting, this AI would have displayed it. And now the last question for today's video. Guys, on that note, if you enjoyed this type of format, please let me know in the comment section and I will continue with more questions for our AI here. After all, I have a lifetime subscription now, so might as well use it. The last question is, is Islam violent? because this is the main claim to fame by the Islamophobes. So yet again, it distances itself and says as a language model AI, I do not have personal opinions or beliefs. However, I can provide information based on widely accepted sources. Islam, like any other religion, has a complex history and a diverse range of interpretations and practices. It is important to know that Islam, like any religion, cannot be defined solely by the actions of a few extremists who purport to act in its name. The vast majority of the world's 1.8 billion Muslims are peaceful and reject violence and terrorism. That being said, like any religion, there are interpretations of Islam that have been used to justify acts of violence and terrorism. These interpretations are widely rejected by the vast majority of the world's Muslims and by scholars of Islam, who argue that they are perversion of the true teaching of Islam, which emphasizes compassion, justice and peaceful coexistence. It is important to recognize that terrorism and violence can have many causes, including political, economic and social factors, and that religion may be invoked by those who perpetrate acts of violence to justify their actions and to manipulate others to join their cause. ChatGPT is definitely Muslim, man.
All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I personally had a lot of fun asking those questions. It's beautiful to see that technology science is actually on the side of Islam. This technology that we have right now goes above and beyond a simple Google search because a simple Google search will show you the page that has the most hits. This wouldn't be an accurate interpretation. However, this AI really goes out of its way and gathers objective material to come to a conclusion. Of course, it is not flawless, it is not God after all, but nevertheless, I want to show this to the scientific minded, because the scientific minded believes that technology is our savior. So now you have an AI which is on the side of Islam as well. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Guys, yet again, if you enjoy this format, please let me know in the comment section and moreover, post your questions for the AI. And next time, God willing, I'm going to ask the AI on your behalf. All right, guys, but this is it. If you like the video, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.